Hi, my name's Hunter, and I'm a researcher here at Think Elephants International. On this episode of Oh Behave, we're going to talk about something that I find particularly interesting. It's what scientists like to call anti-predator responses. What does that mean? Well, it's basically all the ways that a prey species will avoid becoming dinner. You may display the same sorts of actions in a game of tag, such as running, dodging, or hiding out. But what happens when the thing you're afraid of is something you've never encountered before? Maybe it's a predator that your ancestors have seen, but you never have. Would you know what to do? Researchers Dr. Frederick Del Room and Lydia Belton asked this very question of prey species in South Africa. With three types of ungulates, impalas, blue wildebeest, and the common warthog, display a species appropriate response to a predator that had long since been extinct in their habitat. You see, the species they studied lived in two distinct locations. These locations were similar in a lot of ways, including relative size and habitat type. But there was one major difference. In the first location, lions had been living there for many years. But in the second location, lions had been hunted out of the area possibly a hundred years ago. This means that one population of prey had experience with potential lion predation, whereas the other was naive to it. So they wanted to know, would the lion inexperienced prey know what to do if they hear a lion coming? They tested this question by playing one of four audio clips to groups of foraging ungulates in both locations. The first two clips were that of predators, a lion and a wolf. This allowed the researchers to determine which anti-predator responses were specific to a known predator, the lion, and which were more general to a novel threat, the wolf. The second two clips acted as their control sounds. A familiar, non-threatening sound, running water, and an unfamiliar, non-threatening sound, the voice of Miss Celine Dion. predicted that the lion experienced individuals would display the most anti-predator responses to the lions, but that the lion inexperienced individuals wouldn't react any more strongly to the lions than they did to the wolf, since technically they haven't encountered either. And the research results? Well, the prey didn't react strongly to the sound of water or the heart-wrenching chords of my heart will go on. But the scientists did find that the prey species in both locations reacted the most strongly to the lion calls. And they displayed this through behaviors such as running away, aggregating in a group together, or vocalizing an alarm. What this specifically means for the lion naive individuals is that even though they had never directly encountered the presence of lions before, their instinct allowed them to respond the same as their lion-experienced brethren. The relevance of this research to conservation is particularly clear in its application to animal reintroductions in the wild. An animal reintroduction is when humans put a species back into an area that it previously existed in, but now no longer consistently does. This research reminds us of the importance to conduct animal behavior studies before we want to reintroduce any animal, and especially any predator. For example, if we reintroduce wolves back into a national park in the United States, and we haven't done behavioral studies of the prey species there, then we may not know whether these prey species have lost their instinctual anti-predator responses to the wolves. They would prove an easy target for these new top dogs which may mean we could cause the decimation of a whole prey population just because we weren't looking at consequences at an ecosystem level. An animal's daily behavior is a crucial part of their survival. And it's something that we as habitat modifiers 
have to consider every time we want to implement conservation practices. So thanks for tuning in to learn a little more about animal behavior in light of conservation. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and remember, behave yourselves.